Teaching is an essential public service and public education is one of the key pillars of our society. Because teachers and teacher leaders have a unique and invaluable position of trust and influence, there is a legislated discipline process. Teachers and teacher leaders have a responsibility to meet the requirements of the Code of Professional Conduct, which can be found in the Professional Conduct and Competency for Teachers and Teacher Leaders Regulation. If you think a teacher or teacher leader has engaged in unprofessional conduct, consider discussing your concerns with the teacher or teacher leader or the vice principal or principal at the school. Each school or school authority has established ways to address and resolve complaints against teachers and teacher leaders at their school. When you have a concern, see if the school or school authority can help. If your concern is not addressed after speaking with the teacher or teacher leader, vice principal or principal, you could try reaching out to the next most senior leader, such as the superintendent. You don't have to speak to these individuals before making your complaint, but if you're comfortable doing so, many complaints can be resolved by talking to the people who work at the school or school authority. Any suspected criminal activity should be reported to the police. If you feel your concern has not been adequately addressed by the school or school authority, or you prefer to make your complaint directly to the registrar, visit alberta.ca forward slash teaching dash in dash alberta dot aspx. Conduct complaints are received by the Office of the Registrar in the Department of Education. They are then transferred to the Alberta Teaching Profession Commission. The Commission operates out of the Department of Education. However, it makes operational decisions and conducts investigations independently. The Alberta Teaching Profession Commission makes sure conduct complaints are handled fairly, effectively, and transparently. An unprofessional conduct complaint can be made by anyone. This includes a parent, members of the public, or any teacher or teacher leader. To ensure fairness for everyone involved, all complaints follow the same process set out in Alberta's legislation. A complaint can be submitted at any time regardless of when the alleged behaviour or incident occurred. In other words, a conduct complaint can be made whether it's something that happened a few days ago or even a few years ago. When submitting your complaint, it's best to include as much detail as you can, including the name of the teacher or teacher leader and where they work. They will also need a thorough description of the alleged behavior or incident that is the basis of your complaint. Describe what occurred, when, where, and who was involved. Also, if you discussed your complaint with teachers or teacher leaders at the school or within the school authority, include some details about what happened next. Any information about previous attempts to resolve the issue may help the Commission determine how to respond. It's also very important to include your contact information so the Commission can follow up with you. After receiving your complaint, the Commission will further review the matter. This is a non-adversarial process with the simple aim of ensuring the Commissioner can make a fair and well-informed decision. The Commission will inform the teacher of the nature of the complaint. Then, an investigator may interview the teacher or teacher leader, the person who made the complaint, and anyone else who may have relevant information. The Commissioner may take no further action if the complaint is determined to be frivolous, vexatious, or without merit. The parties may go through a dispute resolution or mediation process where they talk through the specifics of the case and a third-party mediator helps determine the outcome. If the teacher or teacher leader admits to unprofessional conduct and the commissioner, the registrar, and the teacher or teacher leader all agree on what the penalty should be, then the parties may sign a consent resolution agreement. If the consent resolution agreement recommends the suspension or cancellation of a teacher or teacher leader's certificate of practice, then the agreement will go to the minister to make a final decision. In more serious cases, the commissioner may refer the matter to a hearing. A hearing is when a committee is presented with the specifics of the case and the evidence and then makes a decision. The committee is made up of members of the Professional Conduct and Competency General Panel, which are appointed by the government. 
Panel members include a variety of teachers and teacher leaders and public members to ensure a balanced perspective. If the committee decides the teacher or teacher leader in question did in fact engage in unprofessional conduct, they will decide on a penalty. If the committee decides it's appropriate to sanction the teacher, including suspending or cancelling the teacher's certificate of practice, they will make a recommendation to the minister. Some examples of penalties are cancellation or suspension of one's certificate, a letter of reprimand, or an order to take a professional or personal development course such as anger management. If you have any questions about making a complaint, please contact the Office of the Registrar at education.registrar at gov.ab.ca.